Hey guys, welcome back. I hope all of you guys are doing really well. This is going to be a little bit of a different video for me and this is a topic that is a little bit controversial on YouTube. It's been going on for some time and let me just tell you guys right now, this video is not to be controversial. It's more of me trying to let you guys know where I stand when it comes to video reviews and sponsorship with my channel. Like I just want to let you guys know what you can expect of me on my channel personally. So this is not something that is like, you know, back and forth, like let's get at each other's throats. I just want to make it clear where I stand and let you guys know what you can expect of me because you guys watch my videos. Now, as my channel is growing, I have noticed a lot more companies contacting me to do video reviews for products and hair and all sorts of things. I've even gotten a request to do a, a review for a pill, like to ingest something, and I remember asking them if they can give me more details and I never heard back from them, so yeah. But anyway, I've gotten requests for quite a few things and I feel like I need to come and address this with you guys and let you guys know how I feel about this and you know just in general what you can expect now I just want to get out there that I do not have issues with sponsored videos I just wish that everyone who had sponsored videos would reveal it to us either in the video or in the bottom so if I ever do something that has been sent to me for free or is sponsored I will be sure to let you guys know because honestly there's no point to hide it like I don't I don't get it because that just shows how disingenuous you are because I'm pretty sure people can tell that you're just kind of like I don't know acting weird I don't know it's just weird I can usually tell if something has been sent to people so you definitely have to use your discretion when watching videos but as far as I'm concerned um, and first of all it is the law to reveal that you have a sponsored video that you're doing so yes um, I don't have issues with sponsored videos as a matter of fact I don't have issues with people getting paid to do what they love to do I think in general in life most of us are looking to get paid for something that we enjoy doing whether it's our main line of work or our side job I mean it's always nice to get compensated for something you love to do Especially considering the fact that there are a lot of people out there in life getting paid for some crazy things and you're like, wait, you get money for that? So I am not here to knock anybody's hustle. So if you feel like, you know, this is what you want to do and you want to get compensated for that, that's fine with me. I don't have issues with it. And when it comes to like products and stuff, there are two different sides of this. The first thing is you have to understand that you ultimately are the one who decides to purchase something with your money that's your hard-earned money when I'm trying to buy I mean I have impulsive buy situations but for the most part when I'm looking into a product I stock it online I stock the ingredients I stock it everywhere before making an informed decision and usually when you see like I don't know Max Factor or Beyonce doing something with L'Oreal on TV if you go buy the product and it doesn't work, you don't blame the person who's advertising for it. So, you know, ultimately it's you who makes the decision. But, because this is a small world, because this is YouTube, because this is a social media platform that, I don't know, gives us a little bit more closeness, I feel like, like, I will never see myself as a guru like that's just not to me that's kind of a ridiculous thing in general I feel like it just puts you well this is how I feel about myself like I don't want to be put on such a pedestal because I just really don't belong there because to me I'm just a video maker I'm someone who put a camera in front of my face and I'm talking and like-minded people agree with me or might disagree and we share together if I see something that I like and I get excited about I want to share with you guys so you guys can have the same experience and I feel like we're on the same level playing field and just like that I feel like other people share things with me that I'm just so excited about because they shared them with me so um, opinion is definitely valued here integrity is valued so yes it is your I don't know there are two sides of it so I don't know I'm kind of in the middle but I understand that even though my favorite blogger or guru decides to say they love something it might not necessarily work for me and I don't necessarily blame them for you know because they might truly like it and they might not I feel like at some point we should be able to start discerning what is genuine and what is not so I'm just gonna leave it at that this is not supposed to be about that at all I just wanted to give you guys a little background on how I feel about that so as I was saying before YouTube is like a little bubble of I don't know amazingness because you get to meet people who 
you guys share the same interests. Like I have people in my life who I cannot talk about certain things with because they'll just be bored out of their minds. They don't want to hear it. But if I have this outlet and I put a video up and you guys discuss it with me in the bottom and you guys agree or disagree, like that gives me great joy. I don't know why. It's just so much fun to me. And I just enjoy the outlet. So for me, your opinion is like, the most important thing to you that's the most important thing to me here and I know that there are a lot of people who ask me my opinion about different things I've tried and a lot of people who take my word for what I've said so I want to make sure that I'm being as truthful as possible and I also want to make sure that everybody knows that this is what works for me so I am making this video to tell you guys or let you guys know what you can expect of me from a product review and as a company what the company can expect of me as somebody who's, who might potentially review their products number one I will always tell you guys if somebody sent me something to review for free like if it was just hey check out my I don't know jewelry and please let me know what you think or maybe if you have time be sure to make a video that kind of thing I'll let you guys know hey these things were sent to me to try out and do I like them yes or no but I will definitely tell you and if I don't verbalize it it will be in the description bar I'm not trying to break the law here and for some reason I feel like if you don't reveal that it's being sponsored I feel like that's I don't know there's no point to that because I think for the most part people can tell when something is sponsored because there's just a different way of communicating something when you're getting paid for it I don't know so if you're if your viewers know then I feel like you can feel more relaxed to share your opinions about it as opposed to trying to hide it because I feel like that shows right through the screen and I could definitely tell a lot of times when things are sponsored and they don't mention them especially when there are a whole bunch of people with the same product at the same time and it's so amazing and I'm just like, okay, none of these people wrote that it was sponsored anywhere and clearly it's sponsored. So there's going to be none of that here. If someone sends me a product, I will let you know. And as a company, you need to understand that I will let people know that I was sent the product or I'm getting some sort of compensation for it. Number two, this is so important to me. It has to be something that I want to use myself. Like, I am in a stage in life where I am all about decluttering. I'm trying to get rid of things. You guys know I lost weight. I'm, like, I'm trying so hard to get rid of my clothes. Like, I've gotten rid of bags and bags, like, giving away and stuff. And I still feel like I have too many. Like, I'm trying to get rid of things. So, sending me something free does not make me feel like, I don't know, I appreciate it, but... I guess what I'm trying to say is just because you offered it to me for free does not mean I'm just going to take it and do a review because it's free. Like it has to be something I want. It has to be something that I want to purchase and I want to keep and I want to use and ultimately want to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to accept something that has no, like I am not a carpenter okay so if somebody offers me some sort of carpentry tool like it will make no sense for me to sit up here and be like yes this is a wonderful whatever buy it like that's it just makes no sense it's just gonna clutter me some more and I don't want it so it I welcome the requests for reviews but understand that if it's something that I myself don't see myself buying then I probably won't accept to do the review and that's just the way it's gonna be I'm not desperate for free things like I'm just really not the second thing is I need enough time to test the product I am very detail oriented I want things specific like if you know me you probably know how annoying I can get when it comes to details or asking a million questions about something very I don't know I'm just very detail oriented so I need time to test out a product like don't send me a request to do a review for something or send me something to review and expect me to do a video the next day being like oh this is so wonderful when I haven't had enough time to try it for me depending on what it is like if it's hair two to three months usually tells me how good or bad a particular hair is um, especially depending on how often I wear it like if I use it every day then you know two to three months is definitely enough time if it's something that I just take off and put back on you know three four months five months so that's that's how I work you know so or you know I would do an initial review show you guys what it looks like before and then come back a couple months later and do an update and you guys have seen me do that already you guys even see me like when I do products and all the products 
products and everything I've reviewed so far, I bought myself. But when you see me do product reviews, you notice that I have used it quite a few times. I don't want to bash a product before it is before I really know how I feel about it because sometimes we tend to use things wrong so I try different ways like I try different hairstyles like the dark and lovely products which got a lot of I don't know mixed reviews and I'm like well I don't know but that's for a different video we're gonna talk about it. I want to give it enough time I want to give the product a chance to really like grow on me or not grow on me like I need to know the ins and outs the fourth thing you can expect is complete honesty I will be honest because I just, why wouldn't you be? I will give you the good and the bad. Usually products do have goods and bads and I will let them know because like I said before, to me what's important here is that people know the truth. People understand what exactly you're getting yourself into when you're getting something. And then you can decide if the cons are worth you getting. Just for instance, like I just did a review on the CoverGirl Queen Collection Foundation and I told you guys, I don't like the fact that it's wet when you apply it, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So, you know, you make the decision to wait. And by the way, I have realized that applying that with a sponge rather than a brush is way better because of the wetness. So you can kind of dab it on and dab it on. I am getting off track. The last thing to remember with me and doing reviews is, and this one is specifically to companies, like speaking of companies, I do not work for you. I'm not getting paid at your job. I am not like the marketing sales person for your job. So um, don't disrespect me. I was actually fueled to do this video by a particular request I got from a company to review their products. I was appalled. I was appalled by the whole thing. And the crazy, the crazy part is, I don't think they get it. Like I don't think the company understands why the request was appalling to me. Um, I'm not going to reveal the name, but I'm going to tell you guys because you guys know I, I tell you guys these things. So a company contacted me to, it's a nail company and not to be stereotypical, but it is a Chinese nail company. They're based in China and there is a reputation with a lot of Chinese companies not liking the people who are their biggest, what is it called? consumers they don't like their consumers they just want to get their money and give them crap anyway like do whatever you want just give me your money and I don't care about the quality but that's not really what we're talking about here what we're talking about here is this company that is China Chinese based that sent me a, a request to review their products now when I get a request like this I read everything thoroughly and they told me that I can pick one of the items from a list so they give me a link of five items that I could pick from to do a review of so and this is in the middle of the night so when I woke up in the morning I started clicking on the stuff and then I had to go back and reread this email and they tell me that they are a nail primarily a nail and arts based like nail art based company so when I'm looking at the products that they're asking me to review I'm like Wait, there are no nail products here. You guys know how when you walk into a beauty supply store and the primary thing that they're selling is the hair and the, the products, but on the side you got them little trinkets, them little cheap chains and earrings on, on the corner. That's kind of what it was. So they have little cheap eyeshadow. They have a little headband that looks like this. Um, they had, what else do they have? Some weird, cheap-looking sunglasses. I can't even remember what else. So, some eyelashes. And they wanted me to pick one item from that list to do a review of. And I was like, okay, like, what's what's happening here? Like, I just was taken aback because I'm like, okay, so let me get this straight. Let me rewind. You specify in nail products. You're asking me to do a review but none of the items that you're giving me an option here are for what you sell in your main company. So you are giving me an option to review the side stuff. Like you're so cheap that when you ask me to do a review for you, you ask me to do a review of the side stuff, like the little junk, little extras. <laughs> I was like, what? 
Like, I just was so floored by that. I'm like, so what the heck? So you want me to say hi. Hi, you guys. Welcome to my channel. This is a wonderful headband that I got from, um... Uh, whatever company yes yeah, so you guys this band this this headband was so amazing that you should go buy their nail products okay yeah yeah they'll make no sense so I was like I actually replied this one I was like um, so you tell me you're a primarily nail based company that's what you guys do and then everything else is extra so why would you not give me an option for nail stuff and they replied back to me and told me well you know we couldn't really tell exactly what you wanted from your or what you would like from our website but the bottom line is we didn't give you those options because you know we had already sent out many video requests or many options to other people and those other things are just kind of our rough and our, those are just our extras. So wait, you want me to market for you for your extra crap? Like that's disrespectful to me. That is disrespectful. You don't. Like don't do that. Don't disrespect me. I don't work for you. And I was, I was watching somebody else's video who reviewed products for them and she still did the video which kind of was strange to me because I'm like why did you do this video? And it was like one item. And she was saying something like she wrote to them and they told her that they were they sent her only one option of items because they wanted to test her out. And if they liked her for as far as how she made her videos, then they would send her more stuff. I don't need free stuff like that, okay? Like I would understand if you have a website and you have an assortment of products or things and you send somebody like a couple different samples so that I can be able to decide if the quality overall of your website is up to par. If I can sit here and recommend that to someone. Like, what the heck? Like, you guys, tell me if I am off base. Like, is this me? Am I being crazy? Because I felt disrespected. I was just like, are you serious? I was like, I, I, I decline. But the thing is, they sent me another email, like, really trying to justify why it was okay that they told me to review their scraps. No. Like, I don't work for anybody. If I do review, it's because I want to, it's because I see myself buying that product, it's because I see myself, I don't know. Like, or if you're a company and I feel like, you know what, I love your products, I really want other people to, you know, see your products and buy them, then sure, I'll do a review for you. I'm not asking for compensation. You know what I mean? Like, I, I will do the review, but don't disrespect me like that. Don't think that I work for you. Don't test me out. <laughs> to see if you like my video and then you send me more things. I don't need your things. <laughs> I just don't. I'm sorry you guys. This just turned into a rant real quick. But <laughs> I just like I just got taken right back to the moment where I read that um vid read that email. I would just I just felt disrespected. I'm like that's like walking to a beauty supply store or uh, that's like that's like a hair company contacting me and telling me to review their brushes. What type of stuff is that? Like where do they do that at? Where? So that's that's kind of I know this video ended up being all over the place but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can expect of me you can expect honesty you can expect being thorough you can expect the good with the bad you can expect um, a reasonable amount of time for me to be able to properly review the product and you can expect that I will be reviewing things that I only believe that I would purchase myself because I, I just I don't have time for clutter I've gotten quite a few requests from companies so far um, there's only one that I have um, sort of inquired more about to see if that's something that I would personally want to get but um I'll definitely let you guys know but I just really needed to come over and share with you guys let you guys know where I stand with this just in case you see something on my channel you know you already know how I feel about it Whew. yeah so thank you guys again so much for watching it just had to be done again you if you have any comments questions leave them in the bottom I'd love to know it's not anything to get like too crazy and psycho heated about but you're more than welcome to leave your opinion on the bottom as bronze goddess says um, opinions are like belly buttons everybody has one so yes I welcome everybody's opinion I just I just don't do the whole like YouTube cyber bullying stuff I just delete you block you mark you as spam but anyway, time to go. Time to go eat. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.